Namaste, my Phoenicians, my Gemini Phoenicians. Hi, it's Case. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your April 2020 read. Let's clear the energy. while I'm trying to get you answers okay energy for Gemini okay we have healer okay we also have familiar what it's telling me that your guardian angels your spirits your way shows around you healing whatever situation that you had to be that you was being controlled by This is about you moving towards the light. This is also about you coming out of illness. This is about you understanding things that are not as bad as they seem and you looking towards a brighter future. On the base of the pre-shuffle, we've got the Seven of Cups. This speaks of you having options. Okay. It's Venus energy as well as Virgo energy. Virgo is about um, analyzing, wanting to perfect the situation. It is ruled by Mercury. Okay, this is this is also telling me that um, you've been evaluating your options, and you're realizing that choices do come with consequences. So you're ripping off any rose-colored glasses and looking at things for what they really are right now, Gemini. We've got the Six of Cups. Sorry, the Six. The Lovers in reverse. The Lovers is Gemini energy. One more card, please. On the base of the deck, we have the High Priestess. The High Priestess steps in when you need. the universe is telling you you need to tap into your intuition more. This is used... The help that your way showers are being sent to guide you through, bring you towards this healing, making you realize that you do have um, a new beginning ahead of you. It's telling you to tap into your intuition and stop staying stagnant in worry and stress and anxiety. All of your answers are going to come from within. You are the key. We have the Lovers, we have the Three of Wands, the Death card, which is Scorpio energy. We also have the Sun card, Aquarius energy, the Hangman, which is Neptune as well as Water energy, and the Four of Wands. It's telling me that you have definitely made a choice to move towards a um, love connection, one that is going to be more abundant. This is a situation where everybody's working together for mutual happiness. This is going to come after a breakup split of a divorce of a different, an ending to a different, another situation. Okay. This is about you not allowing um, negative thoughts of the past to block your blessings. This is about you tapping in to your higher self, no longer sac sacrificing yourself to situations that no longer serve you. You are looking to distant horizons now. You are looking to where you have, um, looking to see your ships coming in. You've gone from um, the three of ones to the four of ones, from planning to actually seeing those plans come into fruition. I'm going to clarify with um, this one. The vice versa, Tara. Where you are right now, as I said, you've made a choice. We have the Empress in the reverse. 
you are turning your back on any situation that is not abundant to you that which is not for your personal growth okay you don't want to be with no bad news bears okay this is telling me that you're taking you're choosing to take your abundance and keep that abundance to yourself at this moment in time because you're holding out for true love okay confirmed twice by two different decks this is going to be somebody that is going to be deeply attracted to you and you are deeply attracted to them cancer pisces scorpio energy okay the two of cups is represented by venus as well as cancer energy this person is going to be extremely nurturing towards you and protective this is telling me that your your love is going to be first of all based on um friendship okay you've got four of cups here this is telling me that you are not prepared to take any offers from past situations divine is telling you to take your focus off the past because you will bring more of the same towards you more disappointment This is about following your intuition and taking a relationship coming to you towards you to the next level from um, engagement to marriage, birth. This is about healing your um, your healthy issues, going into more healthier, 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 abundant relationships. This is about you understanding that you have to love yourself first in all situations. Your outside influences, this is what I'm telling you. This is true love's first kiss coming towards you. This is your true divinely guided partner. Because between them, they have the caduceus. This is about balance, universal balance. You are looking confident, okay? You are planning, plotters, plotting and strategizing. You are, you are looking good at this moment. Looking good, smelling good. And you are sitting on your throne, okay? The queen of wands is someone who is highly intelligent, she likes attention and you are getting that attention at this moment in time all eyes are on you okay the queen of wands comes in with fire and water energy this is telling me that you are strong in your independence a natural born leader you have high expectations of life right now you want a situation where there's no conflict, where people can talk rather than fight. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords here. This is about you. Um, let me make sure and clarify. This is about you cutting out any negative or controlling situations. This is about you having faced your fears and addictions. This is about you being wise. And moving away from things that were keeping you entrapped, keeping you bound. That's Capricorn energy, okay? The page of one shows his face to, to tell you that you have good news. You do, because you turned your back on all of these addictions, cut out these negative situations with this narcissistic person. Your confidence level has raised okay and the universe has seen that signal and you and the night i'm um, sorry the page of wands has come in with this good news he's wearing his cloak of wisdom the universe is gifting you with wisdom it's also saying that you are being given a blank canvas to create a more abundant future it also tells me that in this new situation that you have coming in for you, this two of cups, there's going to be a lot of sexual passion in this situation. This person is going to make you feel young. If they're not younger than you, or you're going to be younger than them. This is about you guys working together, working together. Wanting to be together without having no form of nefarious time. This is about you guys choosing each other, choosing to be in a situation that will lead to marriage and stability. That is influences you have coming towards you, okay? What's currently in your blocks at this moment in time, I'm going to have to read the four of ones in the reverse, okay? This is telling me um, it's Aries energy, 
as well as um, Venus energy. Aries is about action. This is about not taking action. You know, if you're going for a divorce or split up or break, you need to take the action to get the paperwork in. Okay? This also tells me that you could be going for a period of self self soothing by overspending. We have the three of cups here. This is this is further confirming the the party celebrations of an engagement. This is you celebrating with friends. It could also represent a third party situation because we do have the high priestess here, which represents secrets secrets that you were enlightened to. In your blessings, we have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands represents um, um, uh, Mercury as well as Cancer energy. Okay, this is about um, harmonious friendships. This is about you making plans for travel. This also tells me that. The preparations that you've made towards this new passion at the beginning, you will see your ships coming in. The divine is guaranteeing it for you because you went within and you sought that enlightenment. Okay? You're going to be gifted with true loyalty because you are raising your vibration. You are holding on to the same rod. This ace of wands for stability and this new beginning that is coming into your life. That rod, that 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 staff of wisdom. The hermit comes in with Virgo energy. Okay, you've analyzed all situations and you are seeing everything clearly now. Not. You now have the four of wands in the upright. This is telling me because you are seeing it clearly, you are drawing in that eleven eleven situation. Because you are closing off a chapter in your life. You are going to go through that separation with this person who was emotionally unstable and controlling, manipulative. This King of Cups character who um, comes in with um, water and fire energy caused you to feel extremely depressed. They had a very uncaring and controlling attitude. This person also could have, oh, I don't even want to say it, but I'm going to say it, could have committed rape within your relationship, in your situation. Somebody who made you feel unpretty. Yeah. This is also about you withdrawing from that situation because you're wanting this 1111. This is you no longer sacrificing to yourself to a situation where it was full with emotional instability, narcissistic behavior, somebody who was a cheater. Had no compassion. A bull in a china shop. Okay. We're going to look at this. This is your finances now. This tells me that you've ended a way of handling your finances in the past. Okay. One where um, you was using your emotions. You was emotionally spending. You're looking, it's telling, divine is telling you now, you need to look at what you're investing your money and your time into. Okay? We've got the seven of pentacles in the upright and the king of swords. Okay? The divine is telling you that you need to make a firm decision. You need to gather all of your information before you put your pentacles out there. You need to invest in things that are going to give you intelligent returns. Okay, in your final outcome, we have the Sun card. This is Leo energy. This is about you stepping into your confidence because, as I said, whatever you envisioned in the 5D is now coming down into the 3D. You are getting healed a healing. There's a lot of work being done for you behind the scenes. You may think that what's going on in your life is like a series of um, 
random events. No, it's serendipity that you're going through. These events are the culmination of things working together for your highest good at this moment in time, Gemini. We have the two of ones. This, the universe is telling you you need to turn your back on situations that no longer serve you, that were flighty, that was not concrete. Okay, the world is gift, the and universe is gifting you the world in your hands, the chance to make a more stable foundation. The two of ones also speaks about um, you need to understand that the world is your oyster, and you need to plan for the long term. That I already told you about. You need to start investing your money. You need to start gathering information about investments. It could be stocks and bonds. It could be investments in property. Because pentacles is about property. And it's also telling you that you need to invest in your health as well. We have the page of pentacles. This tells me that the divine is gifting you with new opportunities, new abundant opportunities. It also tells me that this helping hands, this two of cups person is coming towards you. And they're going to be offering helping hands. Okay. With the Page of Pentacles showing his face, we are getting Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. He's telling, Divine is telling you that all is well. Just always remember to apply careful planning to any projects that you got are going into on the financial side. You have to remember always to use common sense because common sense is not common with everyone. In some cases, it's like a bloody superpower for most people. Yeah, mm-hmm. This is about you laying your foundations. You have excellent, excellent, solid prospects ahead of you, Gemini. This person that's coming towards you is going to have young energy. I told you, they're going to make you feel young, but this person is going to ground you and grind you. <laughs> I need to bring myself into a room for this. I'm looking over my star. Okay, I'm seeing 1717. We have making sure it's about what I'm calling. This is joy. This is about a love situation coming into your life. Okay. This is about you embracing that situation that's coming towards you. Oh, nearly dropped it on the floor. We also have healing. You are going to be getting divine healing from the situation that comes into your life. Okay. Emotional healing, sexual healing. Financial healing. We also have home. This is your stability. This person that's coming towards you is going to help you with their helping hands to create a firm, stable foundation. Okay, let's get some FPs on this. Let me get a love oracle first. One love oracle, please. Look, two of cups, this person is coming to offer you true commitment. Because you are that divine feminine. You are embodying divine feminine energy. You are empress because you learn how to re repair in yourself after dealing with a, di a distorted masculine, a low vibing swamp booger boot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's get some FPs on this and then we're out of here. Final advice for my Geminis. The divine is stepping in to give you the help that you actually need at this moment in time. Okay. It's asking you to let go of all things that are superficial around you. Okay. You've got some codependent people around you. That are backpedaling and pussy popping as we speak. They're trying to hide their true nature. Mm-hmm. Divine is sending you a message to be careful of the red flags around you. Let's get 
again the divine is saying be careful of the blessing blockers go within call on your way showers your spirit guides your healers they will let you know they will show you the signs of who you can and cannot trust they will reveal them to you so you'll be able to choose wisely who you have around you what energies you have around you because you deserve love okay on that note my gemini my twins that was your april 2020 read with me case at frequency phoenix 555 please subscribe like and share this message with whomsoever you feel needs it and also if you require a personal read from me all of my information is in the description box below and as i always say from the ashes baby namaste